What is up? I'm gonna show you how I wired the lights on my Can-Am Defender. This is a 2023 Lone Star Edition. This is quick, it's easy, it uses a lot of the existing infrastructure. Let's go. First off, the way Can-Am recommends is basically to put the lights here and then run the cabling basically all the way around here, up under the dash. And that is really ridiculous. I mean, I don't think I would even buy this wiring kit and I'm gonna show you why. These are the lights I'm putting on. We're gonna be utilizing one of these spares cables that goes from here through the firewall and comes up under the dash. This is from the lights and I'm running up through here. Now I'm gonna cut the harness. I only need, you know, like maybe a foot and a half cable here. I'm putting my own connectors on here. The black wire is going to the terminal right there under the dash for the negative and the positive is going on the white and red wire, but you could pick one. That's just the one I picked. Now let's get to the switch. So first I'm gonna cut this connector off. I'm not using it. In fact, I'm abandoning that black wire. We don't have to hook it up. The red wire here, I'm gonna put my own female connector on here. I'll show you that. And that's gonna go find under the dash, the other end of the wire that you connected under the hood, which for me is the red and white wire. Connect that and then you're good. You have these two terminals here. There's the positive and there's the negative. The orange cable is going to go to the positive. I'm going to use the fused battery connection that comes with the lights. And here you go, you see the orange goes to the red and the black to the black. And after you get that, you are done. Test it, there's another picture of it. Red goes to the orange and the black goes to the black. They're connected to those terminals right there using the M6 nuts.